What do I think is a good flooring when it comes to your kennels, right? When you got dog kennels, there's different types of substrate that you can use. You can use gravel, you can use turf, you can use um, cement, you can use pavers. What do I think is good to use? Well, I was cleaning kennels real quick and I was like, hey, let's do a video on this and cover you know, my experience and what I think. So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeder's Hacks. So real quick, I was in the yard cleaning up the kennels. I had some of the dogs outside, and I was like, let's shoot a video real quick. Let's talk about my experience, especially since I switched the flooring that I use for my kennels, right? So um, I had originally, and I'll show you guys real quick. Let's show them. So I originally had kennels, and I had older kennels, right? So those silver ones are the old ones that I've had for years ago, right? And originally I had them in this corner right here. And I used to use green turf. I'll show you what the green turf looks like. So a lot of breeders I see use like this green turf, right? And it just, it just wasn't cutting it for me. Like it was nasty, it would get messy. You know, um, I, I, I just honestly wasn't crazy about it. And I, and I hated the cleanup, to be honest. It was, it was nasty and it'd be a mess. So it would wind up happening is actually, you know, poop would get skidded on it and all kinds of stuff. And because there was dirt underneath of it, it just looked nasty. And I, I just, I hated it. I hated cleaning it. I hated everything about it. I do have a friend. Um, he did actually lay out gravel and uh, different, like, I guess different types of stones. Cause the, the, I guess the right way, appropriate way to do it is like you lay down different types of stones for filtration and then you could put the gravel on top and then you can put the, um, the turf, you know, the artificial turf on top. So that's what he did and he swears by it, he loves it. So, I mean, I didn't do that. I really just threw it on top, but I hated it, you know? I might as well have had them on the dirt at that point. So a friend of mine had told me, well, you could do like cement or you could do pavers. So the thing is with cement, from my experience, at least in my town, cement, they force you to uh, get permits where I'm at, where I'm located in the, in the township that I'm in, where we are um, in the East Coast. So you, I would have needed permits for these kennels. So I recently purchased these kennels and I got these, these are Garner kennels. I got them from uh, Tractor Supply. And uh, don't get me started, I absolutely actually love these kennels, but I wanted to do a different flooring. So I had a friend of mine tell me, he said, hey, why don't you do pavers? So that's what we did. So I got these paver stones, the biggest size that you could get at Home Depot. And I think if I had to guess, it's probably like, you know, maybe like, I think, they, I think they're like 16 by 18 or something like that. <laughs> Don't mind the dogs. They're, I got them all loose in the yard. But um, I think they're like 16 by 18 or something like that, whatever. I just went to Home Depot and got the biggest size I could get and threw it on the floor. And the nice thing about it is because in my town where I live, they basically don't consider it like permanent. You can move the pavers. So, I have no problem. So this is what I've been using and I honestly love it because I don't get the mud on the floor. Like if I get poop or anything, I can easily rake it up. And if there's skid marks, then I can easily grab, you know, my whizzy wash, my hose. That's what I was doing right now. I was whizzy washing it. Um, I could even power wash it. Every time, to, time here and there, I'll power wash the whole thing. But um, it's good too because like, I don't really use these to keep the dogs in them. What I usually use it for more so than anything is I'll use this um as like their bathroom so they'll come in here use the bathroom and then go out and then play in the yard so if this is just like a giant litter box for them another scenario is like i might use this like if i got to separate a dog or something you know say i need to have the dogs out but one dog has to be separate or something you know i might put them in here so um it also works well to get the pavers in because uh, it also will file their nails by walking on it. And it's been working well for me. I, I mean, I really gotta say, like I wish somebody would have told me switch the pavers a lot sooner, at least for the setup that I had. I was just using turf. So to switch to this is a huge difference and I like it so much more. Um, some things to be mindful of is sometimes it gets hot, so you might have to worry about the pavers heating up. Where we're at, we have a nice shade from this tree and they actually sell a roof for these. We'll give them shade so then you don't have to worry about the pavers getting too hot. You know? All right, so what I do is, I mean, this, I, I love this thing, to be honest. Like, this is probably the best, one of the best things we could have got. 
like, cause this holds up to, I think like 300 feet of hose. And then these metal hoses, like this is just perfect. So all I do is I have my attachment. It clicks right onto my Wizzy Wash. You just pull it back. Um, I got a whole video on the Wizzy Wash, but as you can see, it's ready to go, right? And then all I do is turn on the hose and we're in business. So as you can see, I mean, this thing is so long, I can literally take this to anywhere I want inside the yard. So it may not even just be like the kennels. Um, as I've told you guys before, I love the Wizzy Wash. It kills Parvo, disinfects everything. So literally like I'll hit the kennels, not only will I hit the kennels, but sometimes I'll just spray the whole yard, you know, especially when I'm bringing younger puppies out. So like another example is, I mean, here, look, like I'm gonna go to the furthest, I wanna go to the furthest part of my yard, right? Check this out. The furthest corner of my yard, right? This is the furthest corner of my yard. And look at that swivel on that, on that thing. I still have, I could probably do two of these yards. So I think this hose is like 250 feet, almost 300 feet. So I got it on Amazon, like I said, and it's perfect because it's metal. Because I've had the dogs try to chew it up. I've had the dogs try to chew my hoses up. These, this one, they don't, they don't really chew it up, but I also make sure I roll it up when I'm done. So I'll, so I'll empty out the Wizzy Wash, because if you don't drain it, the water that's in there will dissolve the, t the, the capsule and you'll lose money. So even though this hose was all the way down over there at the kennels, um, it, it's so long, I bought it on Amazon. I'll put the links if people ask. If, if enough people ask where I got it from, I'll put the link, just drop a comment down below. So um, it's been super simple and super easy. I don't know if you gotta get closer, but literally this is all I have to do. And I mean, it was such a pain in the neck before. And you know what it makes it easier too is these steel, or whatever these are called, these metal hoses. So it just allows me to keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. And there you go, you know? So that allows me to put the way the hose easily and easily be able to, you know, take it out, put it back, take it out, put it back to hit the kennel. So, you know, this is what I'm using. Let's put it this way, like I said, I'm sure there's other and better options, but I find like, if you're doing a quick kennel setup, do some pavers. You could quickly buy them at Home Depot and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I purchased 32 of these big pavers and it fits the whole kennel. So the kennel just sits on top of it. My dogs aren't the biggest, so they don't really move the kennel, but I didn't, I didn't, affa I didn't affix it to anything. You know, so you could theoretically move this, but um, you know, like I said, my dogs aren't that big, so they don't move the kennel around. But um, this is what I've been using. And like I said, I, I genuinely love it. So I just wanted to share it with you guys because maybe this could help someone. I don't know, maybe someone's using turf and they don't like it, whatever. Try some pavers. That should always be your thing when it comes to these dogs, is like any way you can make your life easier on cleanup allows you to enjoy them more. So I'm going to probably be doing like two more of these. Um, one next to this here, um, after we get the fence squared away, and then probably one back behind the shed again, you know? Um, so that's just what I'm thinking. That's probably what we're gonna do. And as you can see, one of the boys came in here, probably used the bathroom already while I wasn't looking. Let me know your experience with kennels. Oh, see? Exactly what I'm talking about. Look what he did. Came right in, used the bathroom, walked right out. Let's go to the other kennel, because that, that smells now. So anyway, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, like, they use it as their litter box, and then they come right back out. So, all right, I know what people are gonna say. They're gonna ask me, how did you train your dogs to do it? I started with one dog. I'll just go over this real quick. I started with one dog. I taught him, so he had to go in the kennel, and he would not come out until he used the bathroom. When he used the bathroom, we'd praise him, let him play in the yard, and then the minute I would catch him in the yard using the bathroom, we would send him right back in. And he understood, he started to understand, okay, this is where I'm supposed to use the bathroom in the yard. I can have free reign of the yard as long as I use the bathroom in there. So That's nasty. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's, it's serving its purpose. So I'll take the pooper scooper, rake it up, Wizzy wash it later. Um, and yeah, it keeps my yard free of having poop all over the place, you know? So I could literally walk back here um, barefoot, you know? A lot of people can't do that when they have this many dogs. So, um, like I said, that's how I trained them. And then the puppies, they picked up, they, it, it gets easier. Once you teach one dog, all the puppies will see that and they learn that, they follow that, and then they teach each other, essentially. That's at least my experience. So. Anyway, guys, 
Um, like I said, drop a comment down below. If you want to know where any, I got any of these products, let me know. I'll put it in the description or I'll put it in the comments. Um, if you want to see more video like this, let me know. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know your experience with your kennels. What do you do? How has it been working for you? Did pavers not work for you? What, what were your, you know, what was your experience? Um, as well as, um, what, what more topics do you guys want to see? You know, like I said, I'll do more videos of this. It's just us common day to day stuff that we're doing that maybe the average person may not even pay mind of. I don't know. So anyway, guys, as always, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hack. So I'm going to get back to cleaning up some kennels. I got some poop to clean up now. All right. All right. Yo, you can't make this up. Can you believe he actually pooped right while we're doing the video? I mean, hey, at least they'll, I guess they'll see that I'm not, I'm not lying when I say they use the bathroom in here. But oh my God. Hey, hey, get out of there. Go. Try and drink the Wizzy Wash water. Anyway, let's retake that. All right. And then why'd you like swing it? You don't like my camera skills? I'm a professional. No, no. Now go over there with that. Oh my. No, 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 no. Go over there. Go over there. Go. Get out of here. All right, let's, let's retake this. Are you dead serious, bro? It was recording. All right, I'm putting this shit away. I'm dead serious. You swear to God. I swear it wasn't recording. Oh my God. All right, one more. Did you forget, did you put on the, did you turn on the Wizzy Wash? No. All right, that's it.